JCC were to close down? Oh, first of all, five days a week I'd sit at home. I wouldn't know what to do, and that's, that's terrible. How would it impact you if the JCC were to close down? Oh, I, I would be very unhappy, be very, very, very sad. New Jersey's governor says all non-essential businesses in New Jersey will be asked to close. Today I am signing an executive order declaring a state of emergency across New Jersey. How would I explain this center to somebody else? I would say that it is a place for every member of your family, whatever age, whatever ability. You are collaborating and that you are sharing of yourself with a group of other people that you may know or may not know, but that somehow there's some common bond and that there's something that makes you all feel that there's a sense of belonging there. And it builds, it's thriving, it moves, it doesn't stay stagnant. There's always something about it that keeps evolving and changing. And that's the beautiful thing about this community too. If we feel we have a safe place to go, where we're welcomed and embraced, I think that impacts our lives very much. Sense of village life and you see all shapes and sizes and all kinds of people. I fit in here because I have limitations in, in my abilities and other people here have limitations in their abilities. We can commiserate with each other, help each other, give, give, give each other ideas as to what to do and continue on with, with life and be useful. If it weren't so diverse, I don't think so many people would come here on a regular basis the way they do. I saw isolated, elderly, living at home, separate from everyone. The community center is also enabling them to redefine what it is to get older. It's not going and sitting on your front porch and rocking back and forth. We have 2,000 plus older adults who come to our programming. They are inspirational. It shows that you can age positively, and the center really reinforces that. At the Katz Jewish Community Center, dozens gathered for the center's annual lunch celebration. That looks beautiful, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. As a volunteer, it makes you a better person, and I believe that it has added years to my life because of being a volunteer. So I volunteered in the kitchen. Okay. I volunteered here 25 years already. Every day that I could come in. And it's wonderful because you have purpose. You get up in the morning and you get yourself out and you could do for others. They go to the meal program and they sit and they talk and they break bread with other people and they share their life stories with each other. And there seems to be such a holistic um, experience by doing those things and they're all different from one another but they're all important parts of making their days tick. And this guy all he does is eat and tell stories. <laughs> we have fun. They're funny guys. We're just fortunate here in the center that we are more than just a meal. Today we decorated a picture frame <laughs> And it's like, you know, being in kindergarten again, but you're with other people your age and everybody's very creative, so I enjoy that. It's put me in contact with uh, other people my age and older. The book clubs, there are two different kinds and they're totally different. 30, 40 people in yoga classes and Pilates classes. When you see Mae Brill, who's 95 years old, taking a yoga class, and being open to that, it's a beautiful thing. We have 90-year-olds, 100-year-olds that are swimming three times a week. 
the Jewish Film Festival, which draws people from the community. Cultural trips. We go to museums in New York. We go to New York Broadway shows. Jewish activity events, which are fun and important to us. Many times they bring their family to the celebrations or they want to celebrate a major birthday or an anniversary. We see this as a good opportunity to um, get a nice taste of you know, all the holidays. They have these luncheons before Purim, they have them before Passover, they have them before Rosh Hashanah. Uh, we had one for New Year's you know, this year. So it's you know, really uh, you know, a chance to get together with uh, a lot of our friends. The Cats JCC held a Seder, the ritualistic service and dinner that is part of Passover. Passover, a commemoration of Jewish freedom. You do learn you from your experiences, and you become more of who you are the older you get. The Jewish values go back thousands of years. I think they're part of our humanity. Tikkun Olam is one in particular. Uh, which is the aspect of healing the world. That one really resonates with me. If I were not inclusive, shame on me. Shame on any Jewish person. Shame on any persecuted population if they do not embrace other people regardless of the color of their skin, the church they go to, the, the disability they have. Because nobody makes the difference between me and a Jewish person. Everybody is welcome, everybody's the same. Lador Vador, generation to generation, is another one. My, my parents passed my Jewishness from their generation to me. I, have, I am obligated to pass it on to my, my, my children and, their, and my grandchildren. These people built this building, and I don't mean just the brick and mortar side of it. They built the foundation of the values and the fact that everybody needs a place to go. I just like the Jewish values of caring for other people. I guess by living, living these values of, of Tiko Alam means trying to make the world better. If you can try to make the world better, and to see it come to life every day then brings additional meaning because it's not just this theoretical thing. It becomes a way of life. And I, I believe in their values. Community means to me, other than a physical structure, <laughs> means to me people who care for and live and enjoy each other. To me, that defines community. And the JCC, to me, is a community. This morning, I signed an executive order directing nearly all of our 9 million residents to quite simply stay at home. People are stuck in their homes. And the older people who come to the JCC because of the socialization, because they get to talk to people, they now feel, I'm sure, very isolated. Even I feel isolated. And it's unbelievable how our world has changed because of the virus. The JCC is closed, but they have been putting out videos exercise videos which I've been utilizing very, very regularly. I have to say the JCC has some wonderful programs online. We do our book club online, we watch movies and then we do movie reviews online. And so that is really helping a lot. Thank you so much um, for everybody for Joining and it's thank good you. everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They they make uh, the everyday life of for folks like me and and uh, I guess all ages more relevant and enjoyable.
I really look forward, forward to seeing each and every one of you and all this craziness is over with. Hang in there. Every day is a different day. And whatever you're experiencing or feeling, it's all really very normal. All right, guys. Be well. Uh, employees are so in interested in hearing how the individual feels, not just a group, but individual. And they say every person's important. So it's hard to feel like almost this place from home. And, um, you know, when we get back, Charlie is one of those people that we're going to be really happy to see all the time. So <laughs> it's, as, uh, as, yeah. as well as I am. I'm, I'm going to a, a, a place where I'm very comfortable in. I can't get into the, through the doors. I feel like I, I, I have a vested interest in keeping it going. You sometimes take the building and the folks there for granted. And that would be a sad thing. But mostly it's the essence of the JCC, which I think is so important because it proves that it's more than just a building. It's, it's a group of people that care, that love, that reach out, that want to do good, and that actually do good for all of the community. And we can't wait to see you back at the JCC. I'll be back. I'll be there, because I love you all. You, you've meant so much to make my life so happy. So really deep in my heart, the JCC is more than a facility. The JCC is more than a beautiful place. The JCC and its community fill a big hole in my life. And it's a very, very enjoyable part of my life. So it's really uh, a whole new family that you know we've discovered you know here at the JCC. This is my family in this area because we don't really have any family, and they are the family. It's wonderful. The JCC is um, a place that essentially has become home. When I come to the JCC, it's more like being part of a family. I'm not just going to an organization doing things. I'm involved here. I have lots of friends here. And I just really love it here. It's, it's almost like a second home to me. The JCC means to me in one sentence, my home away from home. It's a, another, another family. I mean, it's, it's like, a, like going to your, your, your children's, your grandchildren's home and coming here. So it's, it's, it's another home. I mean, these folks are our heroes. They truly are what, the, what they're able to do with the amount of grace that they do it with and, and to be a part of that. And for them to have the faith and the trust in us to share those stories, that is just an incredible gift. I'm completely humbled and truly honored by it every day. It never gets old, even though we all do. 